In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Abba Father, in the name of Jesus, in the unity, power, and love of the Holy Spirit, under the mantle of Mary, our Mother and Queen, with all the holy angels and saints, through the intercession of the servant of God, Luisa Picaretta, in our childlike simplicity, we pray to the Holy Spirit. Spirit, sanctifier, hurry, I implore you. I pray you, again, make your will known to all, so that by knowing it, they may love it and may welcome your first act of their complete sanctification that is your holy will. Please take our humble prayer and make it your command that all be accomplished and completed in your most holy divine will. We believe, we receive, Fiat. Amen. So be it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Day 17. The titles of Louisa Picaretta, Little Daughter of the Divine Will, Servant of God. Continuation of Volume 20. Prayer. Adorable Will, I want to pray these titles, but I am unable to do it. Come and do it with me, and I'll do everything well. Jesus and Mary, I cherish you and I love you, one with. Louisa, united with the divine will, in the sun, sings the praises, loves and glorifies the Supreme Majesty's light, love, infinite sweetnesses, innumerable flavors, and their incomprehensible beauty. Louisa, who must impetrate for creatures all the divine qualities that the sun contains. Louisa, united with the divine will in the sea, sings the praises, loves, and glorifies the supreme majesties, power, strength, and justice, and their eternal motion toward creatures. Louisa, who prays the divine will to give the creatures the divine qualities that it exercises in the sea. Louisa, daughter who goes around in the divine will, taking more light to form the net to catch creatures. Louisa, the Queen Mama's little daughter. Louisa, whose mission is exclusively for the kingdom of the Supreme Will. Louisa, at whose disposal was everything that Jesus and the Sovereign Queen did to give her access to the Divine Majesty in order to impetrate and ask for the coming of the kingdom of the eternal fiat. Louisa, daughter for whom the Sovereign Queen stood in, and who now stands in for the Sovereign Queen, in her part for the kingdom of Jesus' will. Louisa, whom the Celestial Mama keeps as a birth from herself. Louisa, second daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, the soul who has Jesus' perennial life within her. Louisa, one who can bring all reliefs. Louisa, one who can bring the light that purifies. Louisa, one who can bring the love that transforms. Louisa, one who has the right to all paths of Jesus' will. Jesus and Mary, 
I love you and glory to my Creator, one with Louisa, one who can go to all points because she possesses within herself the royal path of Jesus' will. Louisa, daughter of God's will. Louisa, the divine will's daughter, to whom it entrusted its secrets, sorrows, knowledges, prodigies, sanctity, dominions. Louisa, one who possesses as many seas for as many acts as she does in the divine will. Louisa, who, with her seas of acts, can infiltrate the longed-for kingdom of the divine fiat. Louisa, the triune God's newborn. Louisa, the little daughter of Jesus' will, who was needed to turn her acts into seas that communicate with the Eternal One, so she could have ascendancy to infiltrate the kingdom of Jesus' will. Louisa, one who has as her beginning, her origin, everything that Jesus' will has done and is doing for love of her. Louisa, one who lives in the unity of her Creator, whom Jesus keeps with himself, and together with her, keeps the whole creation in this unity. Louisa, to whom Jesus' unity brings her all the reflections of her Creator, as well as his unity with all creation. Louisa, the soul in whom can be seen the living image of the Creator. Louisa, the soul in whom Jesus maintains his unity and keeps her in the reflections of all the things created by him. Louisa, the soul placed in the azure heavens, who is the most beautiful ornament in this azure vault, as to astonish heaven and earth. Louisa, the soul who has all within herself, her creator, a heaven, a sun, a sea, everything as her own. Louisa, the soul who does not lack even the earth, all flowery within herself. Louisa, one who encloses within herself all the acts that Jesus' will does in all creation. Louisa, who in following the divine will's acts, receives the reflection of the heavens, and the heavens are formed and extended in her. Louisa, who receives the reflection of the sun, and the sun is formed in her. Louisa, who receives the reflection of the sea, and the sea is formed in her. Louisa, who receives the reflection of the wind, the flower, of all nature, of everything, and all arise from the depth of her soul. Louisa, the soul who becomes the reflector of her Creator and of all God's works. Louisa, first daughter of the divine fiat, in whom the blessed in heaven shall recognize the complete work of the eternal will as she enters their celestial fatherland. Louisa, little daughter of the divine will's volition. Louisa, Jesus' little daughter. Louisa, the divine will's little daughter. Louisa, the soul who becomes suitable material so that the divine attributes may carry out their delightful crafting. 
Louisa, who abandons herself in the supreme volition. Louisa, one who lives in the divine inheritance and takes possession of all its goods. Louisa, to whom the divine will has the task to always give its goods. Louisa, the soul who is the feast of Jesus' will. Louisa, one who has no need of anything. She has everything at her disposal. Louisa, whom the divine will gives dominion of herself. Louisa, the owner of divine strength, of divine light. Louisa, whose existence is always secure. Louisa, who can take whatever she wants and does not need to ask in order to receive. Louisa, one who lives in the opulence of the goods of her Creator as the owner. Louisa, true image of her Creator. Louisa, how beautiful is the heaven of her soul. Louisa, with whom the divine will remains enraptured at a beauty so rare. Jesus and Mary, I glorify you and I praise you, one with Louisa, a work fully of Jesus' will. Louisa, everything is light that rises within her. Louisa, little daughter of the triune God's will, who calls Jesus' love. Louisa, little daughter of the triune God's will, who calls Jesus' eternal light. Louisa, little daughter of the triune God's will, who calls Jesus' infinite sweetness. Louisa, little daughter of the triune God's will, who calls Jesus' incomparable beauty. Louisa, little daughter of the triune God's will, who calls Jesus' unshakable firmness. Louisa, little daughter of the triune God's will, who calls Jesus' immensity. Louisa, the soul who harmonizes with Jesus' attributes. Louisa, creature in whom the three divine persons see their steps, works, love, words, memory, intellect. Louisa, creature whom the three divine persons give everything, kisses, caresses, favors, love, tenderness more than paternal. Louisa, creature of whom the three divine persons do not feel like remaining even at one step of distance. Louisa, one who has primacy over everything and over all the acts of creatures. Louisa, the soul who is first in loving. Louisa, the soul who is first in adoring Jesus. Louisa, the soul who is first in glorifying Jesus. Louisa, the soul who is first in praying Jesus. Louisa, one who finds herself in the prime act and is first before God, above all creatures. Louisa, daughter of Jesus' will, who has been generated in it. 
Louisa, daughter who has been formed in the divine will. Louisa, birth from the divine will, whom the divine will calls newborn of Jesus' will. Louisa, the divine will's little daughter. Louisa, generated by the divine will, who can generate the children of Jesus' will. Louisa, mother of the generation of divine will's children. Louisa, mother who has suffered so much, confined in a bed for 40 years and more, for the love of forming a birth from herself and of giving birth to the generation of her children. Louisa, mother who has sacrificed her whole entire existence, enclosing within herself the thoughts, heartbeats, works, so that everything might be reordered in the birth that she carried, wanting to give life to it. Louisa, everything she does in her interior and that she suffers is the formation and maturation of this birth, all of heaven. Louisa, whose mission is great, and there is no one who can equal it. Louisa, in whom all of Jesus' life lies within, to form the foundations of the kingdom of the eternal fiat. Louisa, who remains buried in the Son of Jesus' will. Louisa, in whom Jesus remains hidden, to make her fulfill the mission entrusted to her. Louisa, whom the divine will gives the eternal and complete love of Jesus. Louisa, with whom Jesus made a pact that she does nothing without Jesus and Jesus does nothing without her. Louisa, who possesses Jesus' dominions. Louisa, the soul who finds true perfection in her acts and offers a divine act to her creator. Louisa, the triune God's echo. Louisa, in whom the triune God hears the echo of their love. Louisa, in whom the triune God hears the echo of their glory. Jesus and Mary, I praise you and I thank you, one with. Louisa, in whom the triune God hears the echo of their fiat, that wants to reign on earth as it does in heaven. Louisa, whose echo the triune God hears in the sea. Louisa, whose echo the triune God hears in the valleys. Louisa, whose echo the triune God hears on the mountains. Louisa, whose echo the triune God hears in the sun. Louisa, whose echo the triune God hears in the heavens. Louisa, whose echo the triune God hears in the stars, in everything. Louisa, in whose echo the triune God hears the echo of their voice. Louisa, in whose echo the triune God hears the echo of the motion of their works. Louisa, in whose echo the triune God hears the echo of the treading of their steps. Louisa, in whose echo the triune God hears the echo of the motions, of the pulsation of their heartbeats. Louisa, 
in whom the triune God delights in seeing her littleness. Louisa, the soul who does nothing but imitate her creator. Louisa, the soul on whom the eternal sun concentrates all of its reflections, who becomes the little sun in the likeness of the divine sun. Louisa, the little secretary of the long story of Jesus' will. Louisa, the one who recognizes the divine will in each one of Jesus' acts and tears the veils to let it come out to dominate in her own heart. Louisa, dearest daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, creature who in letting the divine will dominate and give it free field in order to form its life in her, is the greatest of prodigies. Louisa, creature who can move heaven and earth, even God himself, as if she were doing nothing, while she does everything. Louisa, creature who alone can win the most important things, destroy all obstacles, face anything, because a divine will reigns in her. Louisa, in whom Jesus does great things. Louisa, in whom Jesus centralizes everything that is necessary and decorous to know about this kingdom of his. Louisa, who makes the little note of her love run through each created thing. Louisa, who delights the triune God, and they delight her. Louisa, the little daughter. Louisa, who becomes the owner and forms a greater capital of the Beatitudes that the divine will contains. Louisa, who forms the Beatitudes that give her the highest place on earth and who in heaven shall feel the effects and enjoyments of these Beatitudes. Louisa, one who takes as many acts of Beatitude, sanctity, divine science, beauty, love, for as many times as she has done the divine will. Louisa, one who has within herself the sanctity that resembles her creator. Louisa, how beautiful is she! Louisa, fortunate creature, whom the echo of the triune God's beatitudes the echo of their sanctity, the echo of their love, shall be heard in her in heaven. Louisa, one who has been the triune God's echo on earth, and shall be their echo in the celestial fatherland. Louisa, whom the supreme will calls and awaits in each created thing. Louisa, whom the Supreme Will calls to make her know the riches that are in it. Louisa, whom the Supreme Will calls to make her repeat its divine acts together with it. Louisa, whom the Supreme Will calls to give her the right of possession. Louisa, who becomes the Supreme Will's own property. Jesus and Mary, I thank you and I esteem you, one with Louisa, who remains dissolved in the Supreme Will's immense riches and its very acts. Louisa, owner of the Supreme Will's immense riches, Louisa, 
the Supreme Will's heiress. Louisa, one who belongs to the celestial family, who has the same purpose as Jesus. Louisa, recognized in clear notes and from all sides as daughter who belongs to the triune God and as one from their family. Louisa, one who has not decayed from her origin. Louisa, one who preserves within herself the image, manners, bearings, the life of her father, of he who created her. Louisa, creature who is one from Jesus' celestial family and is distinguished before heaven and earth as a daughter who belongs to them. Louisa, Jesus' child, a member of his divine and celestial family. Louisa, in whom Jesus placed the hope of the long generation of the children of his eternal fiat. Louisa, the one soul who gave Jesus the absolute freedom to enclose in her the good he wanted and to form in her the son of the supreme fiat. Louisa, in whom Jesus carries out the unity of a great work. Louisa, the sphere, the single point. Louisa, who spreads the rays of light of the knowledges of the divine will from her sphere that shall give fecundity to the generation of the children of the kingdom of divine will. Louisa, one who is a member that belongs to the body of creation. Louisa, who possesses the universal strength of all created things, even that of her creator. Louisa, the soul intent on all creation to do what it does, to be in communication with all its acts. Louisa, the soul on whom all of creation is intent. Louisa, the soul whose acts and point of origin are always toward heaven. Louisa, the soul whose life is in the midst of the spheres. Louisa, daughter whom Jesus embraced as he embraced his dear mama as newly born, that she may receive his first act of being born, and his first sorrow, tears, and tender wailings. Louisa, to whom Jesus came, so as to feel the joys of his mama being repeated in him, and to place in her the fruit of his birth. Louisa, Jesus' daughter, firstborn of his will. Louisa, the soul into whom the divine will transfers its perfect balance. Louisa, the soul who feels balanced in love, in goodness, in mercy, in fortitude, power, and justice. Louisa, the soul whom the divine will elevates and expands so much as to make her find in all of her acts the balance of both one and the other, unifying them and rendering them inseparable. Louisa, creature who finds herself in the sun to do the balanced acts that the divine will does in it. Louisa, creature who finds herself in the sea, in the heavens, in the little flower that blooms to give off its fragrance together with it. Louisa, creature who finds herself 
and the little bird that sings to cheer the whole creation with the balance of joy. Louisa, creature who finds herself in the fury of the wind, the water, the storms, or the balance of justice. Louisa, without whom the divine will cannot be. Louisa, inseparable from the divine will, and lives life together with it. Louisa, the soul stretched within the heavens to preserve them for the good of her brothers. Louisa, the soul present in the sun to germinate, to fecundate, to give light, and to prepare the food for all mankind. Louisa, one who can say that she loves God as he loves himself. Louisa, one who can say that she loves everyone and does all the good that her Creator does to the whole human family. Louisa, one who receives the balance of the divine fiat and allows it to reign within herself. Louisa, in the center of her breast, Jesus placed the son of his will. Louisa, in whom Jesus's acts flow and take their place of honor to continue in her the life of the kingdom of his will. Jesus and Mary, I esteem you and I honor you, one with Louisa, daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, whose human will Jesus kept as soft footstool at his feet. Louisa, one who returns to the origin wherefrom she came. Louisa, who together with Jesus occupies herself only with the eternal fiat. Louisa, one who must feel and suffer what Jesus' will feels and suffers within souls. Louisa, a key that lends herself to form the sound that the divine will wants to make. Louisa, one who is always equal to herself. Louisa, whose acts are symbolized by light that diffuses equally to the back and to the front, to the right and to the left. Louisa, one who can say she is similar to he who created her, and whatever he does, she does. Louisa, one who can say that one is the light that invests her and her creator, one is the strength, one is the will. Louisa, amazing is her operating in the divine will. Louisa, the soul who forms the balance in all creatures and lays within them the kingdom of God's will. Louisa, like light that descends from above and lays within everyone the kingdom of the love of Jesus' will. Louisa, who lays within everyone the kingdom of the adoration of Jesus' will. Louisa, who lays within everyone the kingdom of the glory of Jesus' will and of everything it possesses. Louisa, like light, ascends and brings the balance of all the acts of the creation of all times and of all hearts to her creator. Louisa, who empties all the human acts and lets the divine will flow as prime act. Louisa, 
daughter whom Jesus makes almost touch everything with her own hand. Louisa, who must extend herself to everyone and everything in order to extend the kingdom of Jesus' will. Louisa, who, by possessing the unity of light of the supreme fiat, possesses all the acts of its light. Louisa, who can give her act of light of divine will to the human acts, so she may extend its divine kingdom everywhere. Louisa, Jesus' chosen one, in whom he sees his kingdom follow its way, it extends, it is established. Louisa, firstborn daughter of Jesus' will, who must balance all parties before coming to the celestial fatherland. Louisa, who must fill all the voids in order to establish Jesus' kingdom in the midst of creatures. Louisa, daughter to whom it was given to live in the divine volition and let her sorrows, fever, pains of privation flow within the triune God's endless boundaries to reconcile the two wills. Louisa, daughter in whom Jesus finds the first fruits of the kingdom of his will. Louisa, in whom Jesus finds the delights of the early fruits, the first fruits of the music that she produces. Louisa, who takes all of the triune God's notes in their will, makes them her own, and forms her beautiful music in Jesus' kingdom. Louisa, to whom Jesus delights in listening. Louisa, in whom Jesus finds the first fruits of order. Louisa, in whom Jesus finds the first fruits of true love that his will has conceded to her. You have reached the end of day 17 for the titles of the Servant of God, Louisa Picaretta, Little Daughter of the Divine Will. Fiat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.